Hello, YouTube. Uh, so, just as I promised, um, I am making another video about sexual accessories. We're going to go with that. And it's going to be very brief. It's just going to be kind of an overview of things that you can do. It's not going to be complete in its entirety. Um, it won't be, and I'm sorry for that. I don't have a lot of these. Um, but, you know, like I, like I said in my last video, do your own research. Do it. Study. Um, so, we're just going to go and dive right into it. Um, one of the ones that a lot of gay men like is the jockstrap. And this one happens to be neoprene, but as you can see, the bottom is completely gone. Um, I have a huge fetish for them. And any guy who's wearing them, I will immediately be like, oh, let me have sex with you. Um, so, dock strap, very good. Like I said, a lot of guys have things for it. Um, next thing is, um, and yeah, this came in as a, as a set, by the way. Next thing is an armband. So, a lot of guys wear, like to wear these just around the arm, usually on the bicep. Um, there are some that are cuffs that come down here. Um, there are some for the legs, too. Uh, usually those are cuffs around the ankles. And those are usually bondage-type situations. But, uh, that said, um, <coughs> uh, highly recommend both those things. Um, last one is harness. So, essentially, how this works, if I can get it to go right... Jesus Christ, um, is, I mean, this one's pretty easy because it is neoprene, um, this, that's the way that's supposed to go, but for this one, you can essentially just put it on just like this, just take it and, uh, make sure that these don't fucking flip around because they're bitches. But yeah, so, this is called a bulldog harness, um, and wow, it fits a lot better with a t-shirt on. Holy fuck, like, it's actually tight. Uh, bulldog harness is, again, uh, typically these are leather-type things. Um, I do have a leather one that's over there. Um, I don't like wearing it as much because it has hard edges. It chafes in here. No fun. No me gusta. Um... And that was part of the lie that my mom told me about, you know, in that video that I made a while back. Um, any whore, uh, two more things. Uh, the last two things that I do have. Lube. Always use lube. Especially for gay men. Lube is necessito. Needed. Always. Um, don't care what kind you use. You can use Vaseline. You can use water-based. You can use silicone. I prefer silicone myself because it just... Stays wet the entire time. Water base typically dries up very quickly uh, when in the open air. You can use their special lube for fisting, for God's sake. And I should know that because I've done that to a few different guys. Um, and you just, you need it. You do. Especially for gay men. Gay men, they... I don't think lesbians actually need to use lube. Uh, because, I mean, I mean, if they're using... Like dildos, maybe, but um, lube is needed because the anus is not technically meant to take things in. It is meant to push them out, and lube helps so much <laughs> with taking things in. Trust me. And the more lube, the better. The more lube, the better. Like, if you feel like things aren't going right, like, just, if you're being, if you're the bottom, just be like, hey, dude, more lube. Let's go. Um, if you're the top and you see pain in your bottom, in your bottom's eyes, put more lube on. Um, I've noticed it a few times, and I'm like, okay, hold on, let me just put some more lube on. And they're like, thank you. Exactly. So that happens. Just more lube. The more lube, the better. Honestly. And yeah, it seems really slick at first, especially with silicone, because you're like, wow, it's like going in and out really easy and. I'm not getting any sexual pleasure from it, from this, but it dries up pretty quickly, and you'll love it. You, you, both you and your bottom will love it. 
Um, and then same goes for straight men, too. Straight men, straight women, you know, use lube. Just use fucking lube. Like, nothing is worse than feeling pain during something that's supposed to be pleasurable. Um, so, that said, we're gonna move on to my last one. And that is poppers. These are typical to gay men. A lot of gay men use these. I used these the other day, on my birthday. Um, for reasons that I don't want to discuss on here. Um, <clears throat> But poppers, essentially, um, it's, uh, it's a special chemical formula that when huffed through the nose, or through the mouth, for that matter, um, all they're doing the mouth really never does any, any good. Um, but when huffed through the nose, it will essentially create a high. It causes a blood rush, um, um, because it has nitrates in it. And the blood rush causes both the penis to get harder... And, um, for, uh, orifices to relax. And trust me when I say that if you're, if you plan on bottoming a lot, I mean, like, going on, like, a bottom spree or something, I don't even know. If you plan on taking a lot of dicks, let's just say that. Um, and there are things, there are, there are people who do that. And that's, that's totally fine. It is. You know, I'm a very sex-positive person. Um... Person. Person. Ugh, I gotta let this leg out now. Um, uh, if you're... <laughs> I can't believe that I'm saying this because my stepmother watches it. If you're gonna be taking a lot of dicks, make sure that you have a bottle handy, honestly, because, um, you know, being versatile, I know, I know how both sides, <laughs> both sides work. And nothing is more displeasing than a bottom that won't fucking open up for for a top. It is. It's like it. It feels like you're fighting us, and we kind of give up eventually because we're like, uh, we can't get it in. We're just not going to um, even try to do that because I ran into it on my birthday too. So, you know, and I basically walked away from said guy. Um, like I said, I don't really want to get into all the details. And I'm going to lay on my side again. Because I can. Ugh, fuck. Uh, so poppers. Typically small bottles like this. Some there are bigger. Probably about yay big. Uh, yeah, that, that big. Um, Squarish. Rather than round. Oh, my butt itches. Um, oh, God. Fuck. I didn't know that my that I was still in that channel. Um, we were playing video games earlier with friends, and one of them just started talking to me. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, so, uh, have poppers available if you're planning on taking a. L <laughs> this is the third time that I'm saying this. If you plan on, t <laughs> I can't finish the sentence anymore. You know what I mean. Um, also, as a side note, if you do plan on doing. <laughs> Good lord, I'm going to hell. I am. But hey, at least I'll meet all you fabulous people down there with me. Um, okay, this that was an actual booger at this point. Uh, make sure you clean out. Nothing is more disgusting than getting a chocolate surprise. For a top, it's a total turnoff. Like, it is a dick, it is a boner killer. So make sure that you clean out. I think I've gone over this in a previous video, but I'm going to reiterate just to make sure that everybody knows, clean the fuck out. And that goes for women, too, because sometimes women's vages, and I don't have a whole, like, my knowledge of the vag is very minimal at best, because I despise looking at them, and I don't want to know anything about them. Make sure you clean out. And, you know, women, if you want to try anal, make sure you clean out, too. Just saying. So, um, all in all, those are some sexual accessories that you might want to look into. Um, I know that I get a rush when I see a guy in leather. I think it's fucking hot. I do. I love it. I'm like, holy shit, you're fucking amazing. The leather on you is, looks great. Let's fuck. <laughs> um, and as for lube and poppers, you know, those are, those are, you know, handy. Lube especially, but poppers as well if, you know, you plan on taking a lot of dicks. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go to hell now. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye.